I read a little bit about uh, the memorial yesterday for Kevin. I think 22 people spoke, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. How, how special a day was it? To it was, it was, a, it was uh, you could tell from the, from the stories, uh, the storytelling that took place, uh, you know, how, you know, revered Kevin was uh, by so many people. Uh, you know, his, you know, uh, you know, the theme for me, you know, his passion for, you know, his passion for life, uh, his passion for baseball, his passion for people, uh, you know, really was sort of the theme throughout the, you know, throughout the service. Um, you're obviously very happy that you were able to speak. Oh, yeah, and yeah, able to, yeah. I was, I was honored to speak, you know, when, when I was asked. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, very, you know, if, you know, I was honored, you know, uh, because his, you know, his closest, you know, his closest group of people were there and even, you know, so many friends that he's, that he's touched uh, throughout his lifetime. Uh, it was a really, really, it was a really good day. That's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, question for you. I'm, I'm working a little something on uh, your two pitching coaches. Okay. Uh, this is simplification, but you have Foster, who's a little more on the psychological mind side of things. Right. And you have Holmes, who's a little more on the mechanical side. Uh, you just <coughs> describe what a good team, in your mind, they've become to help you melt this pitching right. staff and mold this pitching uh, staff. You know, I... You know, when I was first hired and talking, you know, to Jeff and our baseball operations team, uh, you know, they had such great things to say about the tandem of Stephen uh, Stephen Darren. And then once I met them and we started interacting, I knew right away that, you know, the Rockies were in good hands uh, with those two guys. And as I... <clears throat> you know, got underway last spring, you know, I realized, you know, the knowledge, the work ethic, you know, the passion to teach and coach, you know, was there with these fellas. And and their underlying basis of uh, of pitching principles, you know, were in place. So, uh, and that, you know, that has shown through and it continues to show through. So, uh, again, I think they're a great tandem uh, in in, in a lot of ways that you mentioned about, you know, Darren, you know, the, you know, most recently has come through a mechanics background from where he was prior to being hired, and and you know, Steve is, you know, you know, sound mechanically based too as far right. as his teaching because he's been a you know long time pitching coach and pitching coordinator, so you have to be skilled in that. But you know, Fossey's great on the on the mental side. They're both great on the mental side. They're both great on both sides. I mean, here's. You know, here's Darren who, who pitched five seasons, you know, with the Rockies. Uh, you know, Steve has, you know, a great deal of credibility from, you know, his experience as a, as a big league pitcher, a minor league pitcher, a pitching coach. So it's a really, it's a really good duo. One of the things about it seems to be how well they interact. I mean, you've seen it enough in your time, but sometimes there's a uh, pecking yeah. order. Yeah, or... yeah, it's, uh, the thing about it, they're both, you know, egoless. That's that's sort of what I saw initially. That you know, they're selfless in that regard. You know, they just they they want to teach and coach, and uh, you know, they're just you know they're they're worried about the result. You know, uh, you know how to get the best out of the pitcher, and you know, egos are not involved. No agendas. Uh, you know, they want to do everything. They want to do everything they can to to make us better, and. Uh, they work well together, and like you said, you've seen that a little bit, and sort of, the, especially now over the last decade or so, when there's been sort of, you know, two coaches, whether it's on the hitting side, whether it's on the pitching side, that, you know, things can, you know, get a little sideways. But man, they're in lockstep with each other on on so many things. They communicate well. Uh, you know, if, if if you know one of them says something to a pitcher, uh, I'm sure that he circles back with the other one to tell him. You know what they just told that pitcher, so there's no mixed messages going on as you know as you go through a day or a week or a month about messages that you're we're trying to get across. So you know they do a they do a great job. They do a great job. I did looking at your lineup today. We discussed um, Charlie hitting down the right. range third today, which we right. discussed. I think you have Ionetta second today. Yeah. Can you 
Just what's the thinking behind Chris? Well, there's just, just to, a, to well, test it out. well, I, I don't. It's more about that. Uh, you know, a couple of things. I know he's hit second before. I'll tell you a little bit more uh, when we're off the record here.